Hello and welcome. So today we are going to learn that how we can create factors inside Houdini's Copernicus network. So we will learn that how to disintegrate a 2D height map as well as how you can quickly make a render-like visualization totally inside Copernicus network. So this image you see in the background, this is completely done inside Copernicus without rendering it. And we will also learn other tricks like creating some interesting uh, images and animations and also how you can create a loopable fractal video which you saw in the uh, first slide. And we will not use any OpenCL code for this to make it uh, beginner friendly. And before we begin, consider subscribing my channel to get access to all the new videos I release as quickly as possible. So now we will open uh, Houdini and over here we will drop down a cop network and jump inside it. Drop down a size reference mode and then go to the composite view tab for better view. So to open this just click on this plus icon, new pen tab type, viewers, composite view. And I also change the background color by pressing D and going to background and background color. And then we'll use the STF save. save. You can use the default uh, circle. We'll plug in the size reference and set the radius to something lower. And this will be our test shape to disintegrate. And then we will do a STF to mono. And it will convert it to a mono. And then we will do a streak uh, blur node. This uh, circle will, um, will be the source. And we will uh, use a fractal noise for the direction of it. Connect the side reference of it and not the STF, let's use uh, the side reference. And then we'll set the signature to UV and uh, uh, make sure that this per component uh, option is turned on so that it is uh, varying per component So for each channel. You can increase the element size a little bit. Let's set it to Perlin. And increasing the element size. And then we can plug that into the direction of the streak blur. And now if you change the length of it, you get this disintegration effect. But it looks very boring right now because uh, we are not uh, visualizing it. And it is just a height, uh, height map uh, image. So to visualize it, we'll use a height to ambient occlusion. And plug in the uh, this uh, blood uh, image to the height. And by default, we just get this. So let's increase the height uh, scale. And now we have this. And then you have to set the sample count to 1. And now you have this. So what the sample count does, it is a, uh, it is how many lights are sampled to get the, the ambient occlusion of uh, the height map. So if you set it to 1, then uh, the light is only sampled from, from one direction. And it looks like this. And we can turn off a sample from hemisphere. And this view radius is the uh, radius, uh, I mean the length of the rays, uh, which uh, are used to sample the uh, emitter occlusion of it. As you can see. So this is the trick to visualize it. And now if you change the length of it, as you can see, this is disintegrating and you can also use the other kind of uh, uh, fractal noises so let's set the noise type to white random 
and now you have a glitch like effect let's decrease the element size of it like this as you can see it disintegrates to the that uh, noise and what you can also do is you can set it to volley cellular f2 minus f1 and then we don't want to use this visualization and we can increase the element size of it and then distort it again using a, another fractal noise so this fractal noise will go to the pause of it we'll connect the side reference and now you have something like this if you increase the length of it this and then maybe 30 and let it cook then you have something like this and then you can colorize it using a ramp rgb post the pause you want to get that let's set it to the light and now you have something like this you can just uh, choose uh, any colors you want on this so this uh, was the three uh, fractal shapes I showed on the presentation and the first uh, World fractal video I'll show you how I created that. So now over here drop down a fractal noise and you can set the display flag of it. Let's use a, another size reference node for this. So connect this and now we'll set this to Berlin increasing the element size also the amplitude and we'll leave it like that and then we'll blur it with a high value something like 0 0.65 and then we'll do a, another fractal noise on top of it connect the side reference and the pause and then keep it on torus I think we'll play with that later on and in, uh, also increase the element size on this uh, to some like yeah this is fine and also on this decrease the lacunarity and the roughness so something like this and then do a, a slope direction so we'll plug uh, the height to the noise we created and we'll compute the slope direction increase the kernel size to uh, something like 200 decrease the scale of it and then you have this angle parameter to play with then do a another fractal noise node connect the side reference and the position set the noise type to white random increase the amplitude decrease the contrast uh, i mean increase the contrast and decrease the center so now you have something like this and this is the effect so as you can see it is completely loopable because uh, it uh, minus 180 degree of angle just similar to 180 degree of angle and we can just rotate it like this and you can visualize it better with this uh, height to ambient occlusion visualizer we made so copy and paste it right here and now we have something like this and then we can increase the element size a little bit you can control the lacunarity and control the scale from here 
and the kernel size can be also decreased I think as you can see and now when you change the angle you have something like this and this is completely tileable so just do a transform 2d and you can decrease the uniform scale and as you can see we have no seams because it is completely tileable because we made this uh, with noises and for the uh, the uh, for the fractal I sold on the first slide of uh, my presentation I used uh, mirror method of uh, transforming it uh, to get it uh, look uh, symmetrical and I just played with these uh, values over here just like this you can see you can uh, play with this and in the best uh, the best look you uh, want and you can also use this to uh, colorize it stamp rgb on it use it as a pause Let's use the to light again and as you can see it works so this is it for this video thanks for watching so like this video and subscribe my channel bye bye